Yo hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Greeting remarkable enthusiasts. Today we are enhancing your paperless experience. So stick around for a quick tutorial on connecting remarkable to Google Drive in 2024. Let's ensure your sketches and notes seamlessly synchronize with the cloud. Ready to elevate your remarkable game? Let's get ready. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, the first thing to do is to simply have an account on Remarkable and to own it at the first place. So if you don't own Remarkable or you don't know what is it, it is not an app, it is basically this tool. So in case you wanted to save it or connect it with your Google Drive account, it is gonna be impossible if you don't own one in the first place and basically guys in the services here as you can see you have the access and synchronization and store files with cloud storage services so you have the access to Google Drive Microsoft OneDrive and Dropbox so you basically have the access to three of these application so after we knew these informations, now let's get to start with this video. The first thing is to own an account with Remarkable. Click on sign up and here you should use either your email or password and then sign in. So for me, I'm just going to continue with Google, choose this account and I will be inside of the dashboard very easily, very quick. Now, after I have this ready, I will just accept everything and here it will be uh, the dashboard basically or the home page after you did create your account and you logged in simply just go below right here and you will find some extensions applications and what we want in this specific video the cloud storage or integrations so to get to go and connect with these integrations simply click on go to integrations right here and after that click accept the terms and conditions and these are basically the information that you will share your username that you're logging in and the access to your stored files and write access so you can upload notes now click on confirm and as you can see there is no active integrations so what we should do is to add an integration which is in our case google drive click here to add write that and it should be added in a few clicks now let's just keep going continue and now we just have to give it see edit create uh, so we have to add that to him as well we need to give it and now as you can see we just have to use if it has successfully connected if you want to you can give it a name for example work to easily tell the difference between the services you have connected let's just give it a name for example remarkable and here we go we saved it and as you can see we have our remarkable account connected successfully with our Google Drive so now once you're finished creating your notes or drawing something or whatever you're doing you can actually find it automatically saved in your Google Drive which is a very useful thing in case you were losing your notes also there is another way to actually integrate these two applications if you don't know there is an app which is called zapier that will allow you to actually do so here we can simply make an automation between these two apps so the only thing is remarkable is actually not here so to add it you have to get the premium version of zapier which is not any premium the professional one the professional one will give you the access to unlimited premium apps which will give you a lot of apps that you can add even without them existing in zapier in the first place just by asking the support team you will be able to add remarkable as your custom app that only you can get the access to it after you do so, you simply have to connect also your Google Drive account, which is simply by going to apps and searching here for Google Drive, which is very easy. Click here, type Google Drive, and what you will need to do is to click on connect right here, and you will have to choose one of your accounts and give it the access. It's pretty easy guys, so nothing complicated that much. 
After you finish with these two applications, you have to go here to create, click on Zaps. So here we go. And now what you will need to do is to simply head up right here and write a prompt. For example, synchronize my remarkable account with or notes, I mean, with my good Google Drive. And as you can see, after I clicked on generate, it shows starts generating for me uh, the thing that I want. So new content or new uh, or new, for example, notes, create a file from text that will be saved in my Google Drive. Simply now what we need to do is to try it. And finally here, what you need to do is to connect both accounts. And after that, click right here to publish this prompt. Make sure guys that with Zapier and free account of Zapier, you only have up to a hundred notes that are going to be saved. As you can see here, there is only hundred tasks in case you would like to have more then you have to get the premium version. So yeah, guys, that was it for today's video. If you do have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section. Thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.